Hey guys, Winnet here. I am bringing you the top 8 of MPDC 2903. I am playing my green formidable deck. Um, my opponent is Michelle Wong, and she is playing a variant of the Is It Control deck. I won game 1. Let's take a look at game 2. Here we go. Take a look at my opener. My opponent did decide to play first, as would be pretty normal in a game 2. Uh, this is a pretty easy mole. No lands. Go ahead and mull that away. Uh, second mole, this one's a little harder. Uh, four lands, two spells, it's a decent mole to six. Um, however, I, my two spells are a five drop and a blue spell that I don't have a lot of prayer of casting anytime soon. Uh, this is pretty borderline. I think the temptation is always when you have a hand, especially if you've already mulled once, when you've got a good mix of lands and spells to go ahead and keep. Um, in my game, I ended up keeping this. I actually think it's a mistake to keep. I probably should have mulled this back. Um, so hopefully this won't end up hurting us, but we do go ahead and keep here. Uh, my opponent kept his seven, or her seven, apologies. And so let's get started here. I do draw into uh, Elvish Mystic here, which is a pretty nice draw. Um, gives me a way to accelerate towards that Stampeding Elk, so that's pretty helpful for me. And then draw into a second one. I'll go ahead and swing in with the Elf, uh, just in case he has a Lightning Bolt here. I want him to use it if he has it. Doesn't look like he does. So I'll go ahead and play out the other Elvish Mystic here. And now I am actually have the ability to get a turn 5 Stampeding Elk out if I want to. The opponent just plays another land. Now here I could go ahead and run out that Stampeding Elk, um, or even the Nessian Asp, but holding up two mana like that, I suspect that he does have some counter removal here, so I think instead I'm just going to go ahead and swing in with both of these and pass the turn back. If he's not going to do anything, I don't, you know, I'm still doing two damage to her a turn. I think I'm okay with that. So again, she doesn't do anything. Um, now, having drawn into the second Stampeding Elk, I'm fine with going ahead and getting that countered, if that's what she wants to do. And it is, in fact, what's going to happen, so the Stampeding Elk gets the Nullify, but I'll swing in with the Mystic here. Opponent casts Divination, passes the turn, go ahead and find a blue mana, which is definitely going to be very helpful for me. And here we'll go ahead and run out the... Stampeding Elk. The reason I didn't cast an Essie and Asp here is I feel like this is more valuable. He's got enough flyers that um, if something's getting encountered, I'd rather it be the second Elk, but in this case doesn't have that. Swing in, drop my opponent to 17. On his turn, my opponent is going to go ahead and cast Rise of Eagles. And I find another blue mana source. Going to go ahead and get this Nessie and Asp out while he doesn't have any removal in hand. And swing in with the Stampeding Elk opponent's just going to take, dropping him to 12. And then I'll go ahead and cast the Anticipate, keeping the aspect of Hydra. Um, in this case, if I can catch him tapped out or at the right moment, this would easily be enough damage. This combined, um, even just with uh, the Mystics and the Stampeding Elk, will be enough to finish him off. So that's an easy, easy one to keep. Let's see what he's got here. He's got um, Ojitai Summons. We're going to get some more 2-2 Flyers. I do draw into my second Epic Confrontation, which is pretty nice. I go ahead and try to Epic uh, use it on his um, one of his bird tokens using the Elvish Mystic. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have any reaction, so I go ahead and kill it. The reason I picked the Elvish Mystic and not one of the other creatures is simply because um, if he did have some kind of you know if he had a magma spray or something that it wouldn't be as big a blowout because I would still have my two big people, um, two big guys left. So going to go ahead now and just swing in with everything, and I don't think, well, let's see, if he chump chumps, then he goes ahead and lives, but otherwise, I am in pretty good shape. So he's just going to go ahead and a block like that, and I will use Aspect of Hydra to finish him off. So very, very quick game two, just got off to a good start despite a very, um, very bad mole, or very bad decision to keep on six, didn't get punished for it. And so that is how the top eight ended. Uh, thanks so much for watching. In closing, let me remind you, you can keep up with all my writings and articles by following me on Twitter at the username Gwynedd42. That's G-W-Y-N-E-D and the number 42. 
I also regularly publish articles over at puremtgo.com. Search for me by the username Gwened on that site, or find the link in the description of this video. I also maintain a blog now at writeradept.blogspot.com, and you can also find that in the description. Finally, if you enjoyed these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and post any feedback or comments. Thanks for watching.